Hello everyone, this is Inspire2016. We would like to give you a free tarot card reading focusing on your love life and your relationship. This tarot card reading will give you an update of your love life, including your past, your presence, and your future uh, relationship card uh, reading. So the way we laid out the card, we will draw four cards for you. So the first card will represent your past love life and the second card will represent your present conditions of your love life and then the third card will represent your future position of your love life and the last card will represent as a guidance card that represent the direction of your love life will be headed into for the next future. So I hope that you enjoy the reading and if you like the reading just click like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hello Aries, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly love and relationship reading for the week commencing the 26th of September until the 2nd of October 2016. The first card for you is representing the past position of your love life. Your card is the Eight of Pentacles. This is the card of apprenticeship. An apprenticeship whether actual or metaphoric, is a time of learning new skills and a time of beginning something that one has not previously done. In this sense, the Eight of Pentacles indicates that you are experiencing or about to experience a change or a new beginning in terms of your work, education or financial circumstances. However, unlike many of the other cards indicating change or renewal, the Eight of Pentacles symbolizes a concentrated determination to master the new skill being learned and the single-minded effort of someone who has consciously chosen a new career path or creative undertaking. This card shows a diligent and hard-working attitude, and indicates that you are applying yourself fully to whatever is at the center of your attention. This card creates success through perseverance and individual initiative as opposed to luck or the generosity of others. The Eight of Pentacles suggests you are working your way at the finer details of the various aspects of your life, in an effort to continuously improve your situation. You may be unhappy with your current state and you know you need to make some important changes in your life to increase your overall satisfaction. This card is a really positive sign that you are committed to making those changes and to ensuring that you give yourself the best possible chance. Overall, this is a very hard-working and conscientious energy that is present in your life. The Eight of Pentacles is encouragement to keep doing what you are doing as it will eventually lead to success. Yes, it requires a lot of dedication focus and patience but as each day passes and as you stay true to your values and beliefs, you get a little closer to your goal. It may not be as apparent as you may like but events are unfolding that will lead you to the right path. Continue working on yourself, too, and making ongoing improvements and adjustments to ensure that you are the best person you can be. The Eight of Pentacles may indicate further education or study in order to hone your skills. You may already be proficient in a particular skill set but you are now seeking to master those skills. You know that it will require a lot of focus and dedication in your studies but you are willing to work hard and to pay attention to the details. You know that you will not learn these advanced skills overnight but you are prepared for the journey towards becoming a master at your chosen expertise. If you encounter this card in a reading and are not currently engaged in the active pursuit of your goals, ask yourself what you could learn or create to better yourself or your circumstances. If you are already engaged in the pursuit of new learning, the Eight of Pentacles may be a card of encouragement and reassurance that the energy you invest in your development will be worth your while. The downside of the Eight of Pentacles is that by focusing on the details of your work or study, you may become a perfectionist. While it is important to get the details right, be aware of any tendency towards perfectionism where you may lose sight of the bigger picture. 
The second card for you is representing, your present love life. Your card is, the four of pentacles. This card signifies that you have accomplished many of your goals and have attained great material wealth in the process. However, on the other hand, there is a risk that you will come to value only material wealth, thus becoming possessive or greedy in ensuring that no one else takes away your wealth. The Four of Pentacles indicates that you are in a position where you are financially stable and secure with solid investments. You are very conservative about money and are not inclined to gamble in financial matters. You are very protective of what you have accumulated over time, and slowly and steadily you increase your net worth through saving money and safe investments. You are self-sufficient both financially and emotionally, as you often equate money with emotional security. Although this card shows a practical and financially stable person, it often indicates possessiveness, greed and an overly cautious approach to life. You may be afraid to take risks, both financially and emotionally for fear of losing everything that you have attained so far. As a result, you may be vaguely unhappy and unfulfilled. Deep down you are starting to realize that you have sold out for a conservative and overly safe approach to life. Thus, the Four of Pentacles indicates one of the dangers of prosperity the temptation to value money far above its real worth. If wealth and financial success lead to a miserly or penny-pinching attitude, then you have found yourself in a narrow-minded state where nothing is perceived to have any significant value other than money. This attitude is an expression of extreme attachment to the material things of the world and is unhealthy in the long term. Sadly, possessions have become your life and you now assess your self-worth based on how expensive your car is, how many bedrooms and flat screen TVs your house has, etc. What this also means is that you must continually work hard to generate an income to sustain this standard of living and to sustain your ongoing obsession with material possession. Sometimes. The Four of Pentacles can indicate an inflexible attitude that is resistant to change. You have already established a way of living that now works for you, so why change? Change appears to be a threat to your certainty, safety and security, and may place you at risk of losing all that is important to you. Any suggestion of doing things differently is therefore going to be met with resistance for fear of how it will impact your personal sense of security. Thus, you are more likely to favor tradition and tried and tested ways of doing things, rather than taking any risks at this point. The Four of Pentacles can also indicate a need to control your environment. You want to be in charge to ensure that your world does not get altered or changed, and as a result, you demand compliance and you insist on having things your way. You want to create order amidst the chaos, to bring a state of calm and stability back into your life. However, the downside is that you cannot always have things your way and you may prove to be too much for some, isolating yourself from friends or family. The third card for you is representing, the future of your love life. Your card is, the Seven of Wands. This card indicates a struggle after initial satisfaction and fulfillment. However, the struggle is about maintaining your position at the top while lovers compete and fight to achieve the same success and status that you have already achieved. Thus, competition is rife and you must continually prove yourself with the seven of wands. If your vision and creative effort is fulfilled to the point where there is public acclaim or acceptance of your success then you must expect competition and challenge, as other people will no doubt also desire the same things as you. The seven of wands can also indicate a challenge to the continued success of a venture or creative project from an external source. While it appears to block your path forward, you can overcome this challenge or obstacle by drawing upon your strong self-confidence, self-belief and continual self-improvement. 
It can also be overcome with effort and clarity of purpose. The Seven of Wands is about holding your ground, despite ongoing challenges to your position and authority. You need to take a stand and defend your position at all costs. This will take courage and persistence but you have the strength and determination to do it. You see yourself as a battler and no matter what the challenge, you still have it in you to stand up for yourself and fight to the end. So, although you are experiencing a number of setbacks at the moment, you need to continue fighting for what you believe in and confronting others who may oppose or threaten you. There needs to be acceptance with this card that you are not always going to be able to win everyone over. There will always be challenges and opposition to your point of view and you cannot keep everyone happy all of the time. Thus, now is the time to draw your line in the sand, and say, this is who I am and this is what I need right now. There cannot be any compromise or negotiation at this time, just hold your ground with determination and courage. From quite a literal perspective, this card can indicate that you will be required to give a speech or write a paper on a contentious or highly debated issue. You will need to be ready to defend your argument and present hard facts that support your point of view. Expect to be challenged but enjoy this challenge as it will help you to create an even more robust argument. The last card for you is Guidance for your love life. The Guidance card for you is the world. The angels sent you this card because you've happily completed something of great importance. They're congratulating you on a job well done. You're now ready to move on to something new. Enjoy your feelings of wholeness and completion, and give yourself a pat on the back for your amazing accomplishments. You've grown spiritually and have evolved to a whole new level in your understanding of the universe. You've experienced significant enlightenment and have expanded your consciousness of how to attain joy and contentment. You feel a great sense of gratitude. Additional meanings of this card, perfection. A move to the next level. Receiving an award. A new house or job. Complete clarity cosmic awareness, recognition for the use of your talents, freedom. Archangel Michael oversees your divine life purpose, and he knows what roles your soul has been born to fulfill. Call upon Michael for guidance as to your next steps, as well as to give you the courage, strength, and confidence to take them. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just Please click subscribe and you will get uh, instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.